Hey what's up everyone, welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell beside it for you to get notified whenever I upload new videos in this channel. How to change PLDT Wi-Fi name and password. So let's start. For the first step, open your browser and then search https colon slash slash 192.168.1.1 Then ganito yung lalabas, click nitong advanced, and then proceed to 192.168, and save. So, bali lalabas lang to guys kapag connected kayo sa wifi. So, wifi niyo yung lalagay niyo dito. Sa account yung lalagay niyo is admin, and then the password is 1234. Kapag hindi niyo pa nababago yung password nitong wifi niyo, since ako nabago ko na, Ilalagay ko yung mismo password. So, ganun din kayo kapag nabago nyo na yan before or iba na yung password nyan. Kailangan nila din nyo na is yung bago nyo yung password para yung account admin pa din. Then, after nyo malagay yung password, i-click nyo na tong login. So, ito na yung mahigita nyo dito. Click nyo yung wireland sa taas, WLAN. So, makikita nyo dito yung mga iba't ibang settings, pero ang hiklit nyo yung WLAN kasi doon tayo mapapalit ng Wi-Fi name at Wi-Fi password. So, makikita nyo dito yung SSID name. Yung SSID name, yan yung Wi-Fi name nyo. Or nung Wi-Fi kung saan kayo nakakonek. So, kung gusto nang palitan, palitan nyo dyan sa SSID name. Kung hindi naman, pwede rin yung password lang yung palitan nyo. So, ako papalitan ko yung Wi-Fi name. Tagay natin yung aking okay, YouTube channel, Insider Tricks. So, dito pwede kayong gumamit ng 1 to 32 characters. So, 1 to 32 letters sa Wi-Fi name nyo. Depende na sa inyo kung gano'ng kahaba yung Wi-Fi name na gusto nyo gamitin. So, dito naman sa bandang baba, WPA, free shared key. Yan yung Wi-Fi password, guys. So, kung gusto nyo palitan, palitan nyo din. Then, sa pagpapalit ng password, meron sila ditong requirement. So, nakalagay dito, the password must be at least 12 characters long and must contain the following uppercase characters, lowercase characters, digits, serial to name, and special characters. So, sa madaling salita, dapat may malaking letter, may maliit na letter, may number, at may special characters. Spe special characters includes question mark or exclamation point. Ganun yung mga special character, guys. So, dapat lahat ng yun ay meron sa password nyo. And kapag nakompleto nyo na yung password, click nyo lang yung apply, and ganun lang. So take note, kapag napalit kayo ng password, madi-disconnect kayo sa Wi-Fi nyo. So ito na siya, nabago ko na yung Wi-Fi name and password, magko-connect na lang ulit ako. Click nyo yung connect. And as you can see, connected na ulit ako sa Wi-Fi. That is it for today's video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to click subscribe.